Hello. Hello. Perfect. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tony Namhaibiong. Uh, I am part of Sarala Remote and the University of Toronto Scarborough. And I'd like to take this time to acknowledge our collective presence on the traditional and unceded territory of many Indigenous nations across this land. This land is home to many Indigenous peoples, and as we gather together, I'd like you to uh, reflect on the land that you occupy. We do this to reaffirm our commitment and responsibility to improve relationships between nations and improve our understanding of local Indigenous peoples, cultures, and histories. We acknowledge the land we are meeting on is the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabe, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples, and is now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit, and Métis peoples. We respect the treaties made on these territories, we acknowledge the harm and mistakes of the past and present, and we dedicate ourselves to doing better and moving forward alongside Indigenous peoples in a spirit of reconciliation. Um, we'd like to welcome you today, this afternoon, to Women in Strings, celebrating over a hundred Scarborough String musicians. Um, they hail from the following uh, organizations, and as I say, their organization, if all the students or musicians actually can stand up to represent um, those uh, organizations, we can see where they're all hailing from. So, the first organization is Sistema Toronto, so if you guys can stand. Thank you. Sir Oliver Mowat, Collegiate Institute. Thank you. And the University of Toronto Scarborough. Thank you. Musicians this afternoon range from grade five all the way to fourth year university, so quite a span in age range, but all here because of the passion of music and string playing. We are so excited to be focusing this year's collaborative performance highlighting women composers, musicians, and conductors, a demographic that has historically been marginalized and excluded. This morning, all the musicians on stage got the opportunity to work with esteemed conductor, Jennifer Tong, who, um, who expertly weaved and stitched all three orchestras who have been practicing separately together and made the music come alive and amplify the energy of the entire auditorium. This afternoon, we will be treated with three pieces from women composers and they will each be presented by a student from each ensemble. And they will be from Ivy Lee, coming from uh, Sistema Toronto, Beatrix Tanda, coming from Sir Oliver Moet, and Taimo Hodanapork, who is coming from the University of Toronto Scarborough, and who is also a proud graduate of Sir Oliver Moet. Now, thank you, yes. Uh, without further ado, um, I'd like us to give an amazing warm welcome to Scarborough Women's in Strings Orchestra, as well, along with their maestra, Jennifer Tung, to the stage. She's also a founding member of the Public Quartet and a former member of the Catalyst Quartet. Her works intertwine classical music with elements of everyday music, intervivations, which you will hear in the performance, poetry and social consciousness, which I find very interesting and unique. Her compositions were described as energetic, colorful, and a blasting of life. You will be able to feel these effects in D major gen. This piece was composed for string players ranging from beginner to advanced levels to perform together. 
The basic rhythms within the piece were inspired by improvisations from the work of the Catalyst Quartet and students from the Seattle Music Partners Program in 2016. Although D major jam consists of simple rhythms and beats, there are many components that are challenging, requiring focused coordination and attention as different sections of the ensemble are playing different notes and on different beats, which can be very confusing. However, there are also many surprising sections with exaggerated accents and dynamics. The purpose of this piece is to provide a fun experience for performers. We hope you enjoy.
afternoon. Um, my name is Sean Rowe, and I'm the CEO of Systema Toronto, and I want to say thank you so much for everyone for attending today's showcase. Um, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication to make an event like this afternoon's take place, so I would like to thank a few people. Um, Tony Leung, uh, Music Director of the, uh, the UTSC Open Orchestra and Moet String Orchestra, as well as Alex McLeod, Systema uh, Toronto's Academic Manager. Um, Alex and Tony spent a lot of time coordinating today's event, so let's give them a huge round of applause. Thank you so much. Also, I'd like to uh, extend a huge thank you to our conductor, Jennifer Tone, um, for uh, bringing her artistry. Um, Jennifer is a top tier conductor, and we are very, very grateful to be able to work with her. Um, at Systema Toronto, we have two honors coordinators. We have Mr. Felipe and Mr. Jonas, who have been working with our students to prepare them for this show. So, um, unfortunately, Mr. Jonas couldn't be here, but Mr. Felipe is over here. He's done a fantastic job. Lots of hours of dedication. Also, I'd like to thank Mr. System of Toronto staff have given up their uh, Saturday morning and afternoon uh, to be here, and I'm very, very grateful because this wouldn't have been able to happen without them. Um, all the students on the stage, it sounds absolutely beautiful, and thank you for your wonderful, wonderful performance. Um, uh, the Moet uh, uh, Collegiate Institute's uh, administration, thank you for letting us use your space today, as well as the caretakers uh, for um, dealing with 130 students in your school on a Saturday. <laughs> um, and then the stage crew for um, the lighting and setup, thank you very much. Um, so, can we give a round of applause to all of those? Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. Just one quick housekeeping item. Um, System of Toronto parents, uh, if you're taking your child home today, please see Mr. Felipe over here so that he's not phoning you saying, I don't know where your kid is. <laughs> They're not on the bus. So please, if you're taking your kids home, uh, see Mr. Felipe so he's not looking for them on the bus. So without further de delay, I'll pass it back to our orchestra for their final piece. Thank you so much. First of all, thank you to you guys. Despite being a modest crowd audience, you still came out today. For our final song of today, we're going to be kicking up the tempo by almost double the pace with a song named Zephyr. It incorporates a lot of like consistent, groovy rhythms in these long melodic lines that get passed between the sections throughout the song. It's uh, composed by Karen Beacon Needhold, which I think is just actually pretty cool. I don't know her personally, but her biography has said she's actually a K-12 educator, and she composes with ASCAP primarily to help like players like us incorporate new skills into their skill set. With the song Zephyr that we're about to perform, she had this like hard rock 70s vibe in mind, and we're giving this piece for two months now. I can definitely see it. Although I think since we don't actually have guitars and drum sets like in a proper hard rock band, the textures of a string orchestra and our instruments make it sound a lot like something in like a Wild West movie. Think like Magnificent Seven or Doyle No Bass, right? So while we perform for you, the audience. Um, you can think to yourself, like, hey, am I getting more of like a hard rock 70s funk vibe to it? Or are you imagining more of like a triumphant cowboy story like some of us do? Anyhow, with Zephyr, it's definitely one of the more modern and fun pieces the string orchestra gets to work with composed, uh, compared to like Baroque or like classical stuff. Anyhow, we will now perform with you. So before we play the last piece, I just want to say a few words. Um, there's already all the thank yous, but you know, I have had the tremendous honor to be working with um, Sustain Toronto at the beginning of this season, and it's been nothing but amazement for me to see how far everybody has come since the beginning of the year in September. Um, I mean, all the coordinators are working so hard, you know, with all of them, but of course, you, these people that you see on stage, are the ones that have put in all the work. 
You know, I'm just standing here waving my arms, you know, and, and um, it's amazing, you know, to see how, even though they have all rehearsed in different places, we got together, and the language of the music put everything together. And of course, the last but not least is to thank all of you who are in the audience, the ones that are taking your children to and forth from rehearsals to rehearsals. I know what that's like. My mom used to complain that to me all the time. And she goes, do you know how much time I've spent taking you to and from lessons? Um, and now she comes to concerts and she's like, I'm really glad that I did that. So, you know, it's really nice. And thank you so much for all of you being here. Let's give a round of applause to all of these wonderful musicians on stage. And thank you for being here, and I hope you enjoyed this last fun piece.